even though podcasts upload day, we're mere days away from the live show. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 82. Round of applause, please. There we go. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 82. It feels so good to be back. If you are new here, if you haven't already, you look below, you see that subscribe button, is it? Pressed your own. If you give it more below, they see the comment section, is it fulfilled with your name? And guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. Get your good what? Karma. I want to take this intro to say we are a few days away from our live show in New York. It's sold out. Pretty much there's one ticket left, but by the time this gets up, it'll be sold out. But what I want to do this intro is a little bit different. I want to say thank you to some people behind the scenes that really keep the You Should Know podcast community and family together and give us a great place to all have a, a discourse. And it's in the Discord. Oh! Come on, he can rap too. I want to shout out to the admin and the mods of the Usual Podcast Discord because they work overtime. They're always in there helping people out, creating a great family bond. And we appreciate you and we love you. So I want to shout out to the admin Piranha who puts on the watch party every Monday in the Discord and live streams the watch party for everybody. Round of applause for Piranha one time. Shout out to Piranha. I also want to shout out to the mods, Brooke, Jalisa, Katie, and Ray. <clears throat> Round of applause for our mods. Also, there's a, there's a guy named Ryan in the Discord who did something really cool in the watch party last week. That's why you got to be in the Discord and you got to be a part of the watch party. He gave away two tickets he bought tickets to the live show gave them away to two people in the discord so we cannot wait to see y'all shout out to ryan we love you thank you so much to everybody in the discord everybody in the you should know podcast family who subscribes drops a comment every video is following us on all platforms participates in the merge participates in sharing this with your friends we love you this this ship does not row without you we love you now on to the rest of the episode Oh, wait a minute. We got, come on, hippie. We got co-host Cam, a.k.a. Hippie, back in the studio. That really hurt my digits. <laughs> bottle girl service. Here we go. Ready? You'd be a great bottle girl. Yeah, yeah. You're two for two on the on the little on the sass this I week. Know. I got a good little sass vibe I can I can always channel. You never channel it when you're with me when I want it to be channeled. Because it, it things can happen. If, my, you know. When, it's a it's we're about thirteen seconds. Uh, Do you know I've I've been having real bad algae right now. Real bad algae. algae. <laughs> real bad algae. Allergies. Algae. Allerg uh, oh, oh, you allergies. Oh you're a gassy bastard. Have you gotten that check? You need maybe need, need a bypass. I need better gut health. You need I a bypass. Do, but your gut are so bad. Depends your on who gut, you ask. Your gut, your gut health is, is bad. so bad that like you've you've gone past the radar of badness to where it's like when things should harm you, it's just normal now. Like you've created a different biome in your own in your inside. Does that make you feel good? It makes me feel horrible. No, does it make you feel good to say that thing those things about me? No. It was because I want to bring it to the top ah! of your mind in, to, to in, attention in private, to your awareness. In private, I bring it up to in you private, so you can know what that In means. private, you're, you're I thought there was a human right by uh, uh, we got to move. I thought in private you're so nice to me, you flirt, we <gasps> hold hands, and then here you're just like I'm the scum of the earth. Like people the fans that meet us in person they're like, "Oh, he actually is in love with Peyton." You did not just say that we flirt. No, you flirt. No, I don't. There's so much space from your sofa to the back of the wall. There is so... Like, someone could be doing push-ups right there. What is that? What? Oh, my God. It's an extension cord. I thought it was a bloody blade. No, your wife's nail is still behind the couch back there. Yeah. Like, like it's like an ombre it's, coffin it's style just, nail. I know. How was your week, Bubba? You know, I'll bring... I will, I will do better. You've okay. told me I've had bad energy on the okay. week question. I got you. Okay. My week... Was does it th ever drive you crazy? Just how has the night changes? <laughs> what the hell was that? Why would you do that? I was becoming vulnerable. I was about to give you a 10 out of 10 week answer, and you said, Does it ever drive you crazy? How has the night changes? 
I Jim, don't know the song. Kim, what do you listen sing to? Sing along and drop them drawers. <laughs> Baby, drop them drawers and turn the lights <laughs> down low. We're, we're going to get copywritten. CJ, you might have to cut some of that. I don't know. Yeah, just do whatever. Whatever you, you have do. to do, CJ, but, uh, figure it out. <laughs> how was your How was your week? My week was fantastic. Tell it me was about really it. Really fun because I got to surprise my bestest friend in the world, my you wife. Surprise me. Oh. My other, yeah, my wife. I'm sorry. Did that cut deep? I just don't think it's honest. I got. <laughs> I got surprised my bestest female friend in the world, my wife. You don't know what I got downstairs. With, okay. Gonna, but, um, whoa! Yeah. Uh, cut that, CJ. No, yeah, keep it. Um, no, cut it. I got to surprise Olivia. You've known for months, but she had no clue. Basically, long story short, Liv thought me and her were going on this surprise magical vacation for like two months now. Ooh, cuddles and kisses! She, she was like, I can't wait to snuggle over a pumpkin spice latte with suits in the background of a Netflix series. So the exact just, same thing we do in Dallas. Yeah, the exact, literal exact same thing. But little did she know, she was missing a home and she doesn't get to see the people that she used to see a lot all the time. So I orchestrated an event where her... Uh, Two best friends, Key and Bria, came down, and her sister, Shakela came down and Hell surprised yeah. Liv last night. Uh, she was moved to almost tears. I believe she was just too tired to cry. And shocked. Because she did the cry face, and she was just like... <gasps> I was like, oh. I was like, well, You're like, I, oh, something I like, went wrong. Like, oh, my God. She doesn't like this. I was like, is she breathing? Is she having a stroke? She was like... <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't like that. I was like, don't be too mad. Yeah. But uh, it, was a, it was a fantastic week, basically just building up anticipation to that. Uh, I got to play some basketball as well. That's always fun and uh, boring. We that's not boring. I enjoy it. So and we, I got to boring, play basketball as well as a favorite hobby of mine. It's I fun. also knitted Anytime some I do, sweaters. I also I learned sweaters. I learned. Hey, what do you do besides sweat? I actually had a shit week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you? Oh. Oh my! Are we getting right into it? No, 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 no. We gotta wait we gotta a little bit. We, uh, there's a story, oh right? Oh my God, y'all. I've told thousands of stories on this podcast. This is this is upper echelon. It, this, I have one of the worst stories ever. I don't, oh, know, I, I don't know if it's Rushmore. It might be Rushmore. Yeah. It might be top four. Like my mood hasn't gotten back up. Like we, obviously we, we can't keep talking. About it. Yeah, we okay, okay. We gotta wait. Okay, but all 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 is well. Hell but, of a week. I got to surprise my wife. I feel good about it. She's having a great time. It's well, Chicago, by the way, is where she's going. Or She's already back. She's back. Yeah, that's you can say it. Now. Yeah, she's back. She's already back, but that's where she went. I've never been to Chicago. I neither have I. And she, but she didn't even know until the day of flying. Yeah. Well, actually, the the night before is when I told her, and she was so surprised. Then she turned the corner and she saw her friends and sister, and she was just like, "What?" And I was like, "What made you pick Chicago?" Uh, basically, I put them in a group text, and I was like, "Hey, where do y'all think Liv would want to go? Where do y'all want to go?" Because as much as it obviously, like I did it because it's my wife. But it's like there's three other people coming too, so I want them to have a great like yeah. I want them to have a great time too. So there was just a list of a couple different locations, and I pretty much just like that one. Was there a coupon in Chicago this weekend? Like no. a half off? No, <laughs> I think there's a 25 percent surplus up this weekend in Chicago. But it's all right. Pockets can recoup. It's like muscles; they break down and they grow back up. So. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna need some time to recoup. I'm literally keep thinking about that no, story. Yeah, um, you will not want to miss that. That's all I'm gonna say. It'll but be here very but soon. but. I have, I I think I'm having a crisis inside. I think I'm finally realizing that I am a, a dirty human being. Like, Thank I am you. gross. Thank you. Like, I live like I'm still in college. Step one, no, oh my God, do you? But <laughs> step one is is admittance. And you have to bring it to, you, it can't be internal. You yeah. have to put it out in the world. No, I've done now that. Now you've said that. But I don't think I'm going to fix it because that <laughs> takes effort and strength and I don't have either of those. So, um, <laughs> you, you're such a, no, you live like you're still 18 years old. I know it's bad. And it is sickening. I went to Peyton's apartment the other day. And when I tell you, it, uh, it, it is, it's truly mind-blowing. It's unbelievable. Like, it, there's no way on earth a 24-year-old man should be living okay, how you do. Tell them what I, what, okay, what do I do? I know something that I do, but. First thing, I've said this maybe a million times. Here's a million and one. When you walk in, it's a damn tornado. There's, thing, there's pants on walls. I'm like, how is that even sticking? Though? His seats are filled with things that I've never seen before. He has, he has a shopping bag. It's like, how do you buy something and then just set it down on the floor? And you don't open it. You're just, it's like, what are you waiting for? No, I have shopping bags from like December. Though. Yeah, they're, still there. they're just sitting there in a corner. Crumbs everywhere still. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Shoes are all over the place. It, okay, mean, they've heard all of that before. It is literally like he walks in and he just... He just throws everything everywhere. It's disgusting. But this specific trip, this man 
Okay. I want, I want you to think about what I'm about to say. No, this is a new low for me. This man <laughs> drank two, two liters of Diet Coke in his bed by himself in one sitting. Yeah. That is, that is a grow, like, that is a disgusting yeah. amount of liquid. Yeah. Especially carbonated soda. Four liters of Coke. Is that a gallon? It's a Diet Coke. I don't know. I, is that close? That's not. A, that's. I didn't learn that in math. That's a lot of. That's a lot of Diet Coke. I don't care if it's. A, I don't care what it is. That's a shit ton of Diet Coke. Yeah. Four liters of Diet Coke. And then. So then, I grill his ass for that for half an hour. <laughs> So then he gets out of the bed. First off, who does it? Like, I'm, I've been in his apartment for half an hour. And he's still under his covers. Yeah. Like, show some damn respect. Get, I, I you am, don't make up. me move, Bubba. Get up. You I don't make in, me move. I am in your 300 foot square foot apartment. Yeah, so we'll stand up so we can stand next to each other? <laughs> exactly. I, I'm not, uh, like, get up out of your bed. That's disrespectful. Anyway, when he gets up, he's only in his boxers. I said, it's four in the afternoon. How do hey, look? Dracula, put some clothes on. What'd you just say? Huh? So we then go to the kitchen, and I swear to God, strike me down right now. Let me die if I'm lying. This man, we go in there. There's a bag of goldfish. And I go, ooh, because it, it looks like there's substance in it, but it's facing away from me. I go, ooh, let me get some of those goldfish. Don't touch that. <laughs> Why? Say, oh, you're, you're going to beat my ass if I eat your goldfish? He goes, no, that's a bag of my fingernails. <laughs> and I literally, I walked out of the apartment, damn near took a lap, and then came back. He had a sack of goldfish that was a, a, a fingernail obituary. <laughs> like, he said, it, put, it was all 10, 10 fingernails. It's not my fault. And a sack of goldfish. Whose fault is it's it? It's my brain. I can't help it. You are your brain. No, I'm not. That, yes, that's, you are. I'm working against it <laughs> every no, day. No, you're fighting We're for your like life. This, it's really? literally pushing. Pull. It's a it's a pulley system in there. So basically, what happens is I get in these modes where I get stuck. And, what does that mean, and though? So like I can't move. Like I, I'm like it's either a little too nippy outside, and I want my manhood to be healthy. And I hate sh I hate when my nipples resemble glass, and so I hate that. Like I, I I really hate it. And my hair when I wake up is like this, and I can literally like feel the cold go through here, and it's like a little ice in there. Like I hate it. Like I'm being dead ass serious. It irritates me. So I I get in these modes where I'm stuck in the bed. Your hair, bro. But I got so stuck that other night. But I was like I'm dying of thirst. And I ordered two pizzas. And my normal r routine when I order a pizza is order a, a two liter Diet Coke. But this time I ordered two pizzas, so I can't go against God. So I had to get another two liter of Diet Coke. I just said what I had Save to do. Save it! I got really thirsty. And so I was sitting in bed, I watched a movie, I killed one. Then I was like, I, I got my friend's Prime Video login and they have new movies on there. And they had the Elvis movie. And I've always wanted to see that. So I put on the Elvis movie and I was like, it's time for second Diet Coke. You're you're not saying anything that gives you the ground to drink four liters Diet Coke. And I got thirsty. If you'd have said, hey, I went downstairs, ran a half marathon, and then I put on an 80 pound vest and went up all seven flights of stairs. No, I got dry mouth because it was cold. My mouth you're, you're is inside. Dry. You're inside. Yeah, I don't know. You don't, live in, a, you I don't, don't live in. You don't live in a tent. I don't know how to work my thermostat. You know my thermostat's old. Your thermostat is old, but it's so simple. You go. No, no, mine doesn't do that. I tell you, that's what I fucking. That's what I hate about you. I hate things oh, about you. Oh, you hate that. About, oh, do I hate? Because things? you think you're the king of the universe and you're not. You don't know shit. How do you work my thermostat, Cam? Tell me. I guess I'm wrong. How do you work it? I don't know. <laughs> it's a problem. Bro. You're not gonna a make thermostat. Me, you're not going to make me feel you're little. You're 24. You're 24. You are little. You're this big. You're that big. 24. Figure it out. How big am I? That big. <laughs> what I'm saying is I got thirsty. Stop questioning me. I'm trying to be vulnerable. Learn how to learn how to use it. Is L in the word vulnerable? Vulnerable? Von vulnerable. Because some people say Vulnerable. Anyway, who cares? It is. It should be. You don't know shit. I'm better at English. No, you're not. So, say No, you're not. You never got a, a word of excellence. You never got a degree. So, that's because other stuff has to go into that. Okay. I don't care. You never got an honor society award for English. I didn't want one. If I would have won one, Me I would have got it easily. I, my, nat my natural talent. I didn't even know that was a thing until they literally knocked down my door with a fucking balloon. <laughs> oh, they saw the, a balloon? Yeah, they had two, Explain that. They a balloon had, knocked down your door. No, they knocked down my door with a balloon. With a balloon? <laughs> They open. They punctured your door with the balloon. Ooh, here we go. Week two. Cam's, with a balloon. Oh, Explain it. Cam's listening comprehension skills are that of a idiot. They not, shut up. They knocked they, down my door. You can't door listen and talk at the same time. With a balloon. 
Okay. Is what you hey, said. When this is moving, this ain't working, dog. So shut your mouth. They n- they knocked down my door. Period. With a balloon. Two sentences. You didn't say it like that. And you know you didn't. Rewind the tape. You said they knocked down my door with a balloon. They knocked we're down. We're in two different rooms right now. I'm guessing. They knocked down. We're mm-hmm. definitely in two different headspaces. They. They knocked down my door is, is, with a balloon. So two sentences. Is with a balloon a correct sentence? Yes. <laughs> no, it's not. With a balloon, you English fucking wizard, is a sentence. Okay, I didn't mean a period. Oh! I didn't mean a period. I'm so a, it's not, oh, you did, oh, so you're not a, the best thing. No, it's because you pissed me off. So you, you, you confused the period for what? I'm about to confuse my fist with a fucking <laughs> and blow your top off. Oh, what do you know? English boy doesn't English right. Be careful with that word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, can I tell my... You I do this! I don't even know what I was talking about. You... <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't touch me. I don't know what I was talking about. No, you t- hey, it's I your saw, show, dog. I saw, I saw the sadness in your face. You literally went from an anime and you went, Dude, I'm fucking done. I'm so done. I don't even know what I was talking about. I feel like the tension... I don't mean to I'm make... Oh my god, shut up, shut up. I'm literally gonna put you on a 35 second goddamn timeout to shut your f-ing mouth. Shut up. Shut up. Golly. So the reason I put my fingernails in the goldfish bag is because I was because I was stuck. And so I go this thing, right? Wherever my fingernails are too long and I haven't gotten them. <laughs> What's the problem, dog? This sucks. <laughs> you said well, my fingernails are too. That's a fucking. That's a Bowie knife. Hey, just because I'm interesting and paying <sighs> graphics for the viewers. Okay. So my fingernails are too long, and I notice it. I'll start with one that's the longest. I'll be like, okay, let me take care of that. Put it in the bag. <laughs> Put it in the goldfish bag. But then my brain starts to like. I get panicked, and I'm like, I have to do all of them. And so then I ended up with a sack of nails. <laughs> Okay, that's I didn't fine. get time to take it out. You have ultimate time. I can't. All the time in the world. That's the thing. I was stuck. Listen to the God. story, don't, dog. Don't hit me that I, hard. Something's not right with this shoulder. <laughs> he hyperextended his arm and tore my quad. Okay, fuck you. Fuck your nails. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Harry's. You know, Uncle P. Oh, hello. There's a there's just subscriptions for everything nowadays. There is uh, indeed. There truly is. And yep. some of them are just a bit much. Yeah. I I am a personal believer of you need to, you need subscriptions for things that are everyday necessities. Subscriptions of value. I mean, they really only make sense if it's something that you use all the time, the same cadence, you know, like razor blades. Oh, I do use a lot of razor blades. With Harry's, you get high quality German engineered blades right to your door. Every order saves you money compared to that big brand most guys are used to buying. Get them as low as $2 per blade. How much? Two. You know what you can do with $2? Not much, but you can get blades. You can get great blades. Again, that's get them as low as $2 per blade at harrys.com slash YSK. Cam, Harry sent us a trial set over to see if we liked it because we don't want to advertise anything to the usual podcast family that we don't like. And when I say it's one of the smoothest, oh, it's so nice. nicest shaves I've ever gotten in my life, Cameron. Oh, I love me. Some damn Harry's. And it's just, it's so simple. The trial set is a $13 value. Woo! Three bones. Come on now, say it again. $3 for a $13 trial pack. Wow. At harrys.com slash YSK. It includes five blade German engineered razor, a weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover. Also, Harry's has the highest customer satisfaction in the shaving industry. So get a subscription that saves you time and money with Harry's. Get started with a $13 trial set for just $3 at harrys.com slash YSK. That's harrys.com slash YSK for a $3 trial set. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. Bro, we were in the mall, right? We were in the mall. Uh, we met several of y'all fans, took pictures, fantastic. So we're going in and looking for coats, starting to get a little nippy, you know? He said he doesn't like glass nipples, so he needs another layer. So we go into a store, he tries on this, <laughs> this jacket, and it looks so good on him. So he's feeling himself. We're sitting here looking for a mirror, no mirror inside. Yeah, no. We finally find one. 
He got. <laughs> You're not allowed to have beverages anymore, bro. You're not. What the fuck? That's two weeks in a row. That one is throw up. You literally were just listening to me. You weren't even talking. And you just go, ah. Yo. Like, you asked, there's so much shit that just left your mouth. Oh, my God. <sighs> <laughs> that both have teary eyes. What were you saying? God. <laughs> Oh my God! So he gets the jacket on. We finally find the mirror. Don't drink again. Like drink on your own time. Don't drink when I speak. <laughs> so he gets yes. the. He, okay. Yeah, Sorry. I, okay. No, I'll, just shut your mouth. I won't. I won't. Do I won't. not touch that drink if I'm speaking. I'm scared of it now. <laughs> so he he gets the jacket on, and we finally find a mirror. And he goes, Ooh, ooh, I look good. And I was like, I was just hype, man. I said, Ooh, ooh, yeah, you do, Daddy. Uh, oh. Him. Oh my God! So we're sitting there hyping him up, right? He's feeling the jacket. He starts hitting this damn this Irish jig. Yeah, he's was like a mean dance. He said, "Because the ground was a little wet, like a little slippery, so I could so at the slide." End, at the end, he slid his foot like far, and it, like, it squeaked. So me being a little ass kid, we're the only ones. <laughs> we're like the only ones in the store. I didn't. I don't even know if there's employees. Yeah, no. It's like we just snuck in. So I go, I go, bro, do that again. That was funny. Mm -hmm. So he hits the jig, e slides it. I was like, one more time, go as long as you can. He goes. E oh, and he literally falls to his knees in the middle of this shopping shopping store. In the middle of this store, I almost just uppercutted myself. Oh my god, I hate when I do that. You had you fell had to his knees in the middle of this store, and I'm thinking he's just bullshit. And I'm like, bro, get up! Like it wasn't that funny. And he literally looks up to me. He's immediately crying. He's like, I pulled something. I pulled something. My quad. And he's holding right here. I'm like, that's not your quad. He goes, go to hell. And he literally limps the rest of the way. Like he said, you what'd you say? Your it was groin? like all it's like my groin, and then it wrapped all the way like where my <laughs> yo yo. Talk. Feel how wet Close it is. Close your legs. There's <laughs> so much skin showing. What size are those? I don't know how to dry my clothes. They look. <laughs> Everything is so small. Those don't shrink. You're yes, just your ass is eating them. Like dig it out. They call me Meg the Payton. No, they don't. Payton the Meg Stallion. The <laughs> Meg the Payton. Payton the Stallion. Um, yeah, so it was like all wrapped around to like my butt crack and then went down like my right uh, back of my whatever the fuck. <laughs> I don't know. This sucks. Oh, and then I did Holy something shit, else with my man. elbow. I was trying to do this. <laughs> That's a, and then after the leg, he's sitting there limping and he's still talking about the jack and he goes, oh, no, you're talking about pants. Yeah. He said, in pants. He said, I'd be like this and then pants. <laughs> and he was like, and he goes, oh, <laughs> like. It was a matter of five minutes. He's just breaking his body. Your body was finally failing you. I was like that guy from SpongeBob. I was like, I made a glass oh and my, my skin's God, made of bro. paper. I oh like my God. That. Yeah, it was a rough time. What was I saying though? Was I talking about my fingernails still? <laughs> no, you said, you said, so, oh yeah, we've ended the fingernails. You swiped at me. You said, my shoulder hurts. Oh said, yeah. Your body's breaking down. Other than me breaking myself this week, <sighs> like, and, and the shitty story that I'm going to tell later in oh the podcast. One thing I did learn about myself and I've been working on it for a while to show you but it, it really this week really messed up my um my my training camp it's I'm learning how to talk backwards I watched the YouTube video on it and I think it's the, one of the most impressive things I've been learning what's what good is that what does that gain you in this life it's not really anything but it's more of like a party trick okay like if anybody would be like what's your secret talent talking backwards yeah is what you would confidently say as a man. Yeah. I can speak backwards. Yeah. Can you? No. Try me. Give me give me sentences. Start it off simple. Hi, my name is Peyton. That's that's little words are harder. <laughs> Hold on, little words are harder. Hold on. Hi, my name is Peyton. My hi, my name is Peyton. Hi, my name is Peyton. Peyton name. Uh, hi. <laughs> Suck. Wait, do it again. Dude, training camp just no. Okay. Give me a better one. That's hard. That was really hard. That dog barked loud. 
loud dark that but dog fuck it maybe i'm not good wait a minute you said but dog that dog give me three sentences three words three words three words eggs are good good are eggs <laughs> that's that's not a sk hell yeah boom bitch that what is that stance there's so much space from the couch to the wall that is not a, that's not a skill Okay, if you can only do it with, that's like, I'm the best mathematician there is, but you, you can't give me anything over three digits. Like, no, I didn't say that I was the best. Give oh, me, but you're, give, you're give me another one. Give me another one. Now go what to four. Are you going to sign a contract? Go to, go to four words. Okay. Yeah. Eggs are really good. <laughs> good. <laughs> good really are eggs. Oh! So the boy up in <laughs> right? Yeah. No. All right. This will be impressive. There's so many mats. This will be impressive. Okay, here we go. Peyton is my name. I am strong. Holy shit. Peyton is my name. I am strong. Strong am I? Peyton. No, no. Wait, what's the first sentence? Peyton is my name. I am strong. Uh, strong am I. And what's the first sentence? Peyton is my name. Peyton is my name. <laughs> Peyton is my name. Peyton. I am strong. Peyton is my name. Name Peyton is. Wait. <laughs> I mean, okay, come back in two weeks. Get it. Get it. You can get it. Come on. Okay, buddy. fight right. for it. Peyton is my, my name. My name is Peyton. My name. Oh, strong. my name is Peyton. Peyton is name my. Say the whole thing all at once now. My name is Peyton. I am strong. Strong am I. Peyton. Nope. My name is Peyton. Oh, yeah, yeah you're right. I'm so sorry. Peyton is name my. Now, all together. I fucking did! No, you didn't. I'm not your circus animal! You you act like, you act and look like one. Okay, that wasn't, that wasn't. Be careful. That wasn't, you know me. Come on. That wasn't you know what fun. kind of animals I got in the zoo? <laughs> you. Oh, you know what I've, I've been thinking about? Right? So I fall in love quick. <laughs> you, you do. Like two days. Like scary. Quick. So I, I was talking to this girl, first DMs, and I really liked her. She was really nice to me. She asked me how my day was and asked if I ate. And so I was like, we're meant to be. What's our child's name going to be? And then I told her I want to buy a monkey with her. That was what you Within two days. I invited her to move in with me. Swear. I invited <sighs> her to move in with me. I think she lives in like one of the the states that really aren't real, like Idaho, some of the shit like that. Uh, and then I, I, I said, move in, and we'll buy a little monkey. What was her response to that? Um, she goes, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, I'm good, you're weird, bye. That's another thing I don't like. And I think it's really immature. I, I was gonna say this for the Dr. P segment, but this is something that's really immature. I don't like when, I've had a girl tell me that my response time creeps them out. Cause how fast it is. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's that I like. Sorry, <laughs> sorry that I like you and I'm making yeah. you a priority. Yeah, girl, dude, women, ooh, love them. I do love, love them. one, love woman, woman, woo man, whoa man, whoa man, whoa man. I love mans. one man, whoa, <laughs> whoa, God. I love Olivia. There we go. No, but that that's always a tricky that's a tricky pond to fish in, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, because I'm not gonna be like, oh, I can't too open their fast. message. Too fast. You're a creep fest. You have nothing better to do. You're yeah. just staring at the phone. Too slow. You're playing hard to get. Yeah. You're a cool guy, bad guy. Yeah. It's like, what's a middle ground? What's a middle? It's ground? like you will see how much I like you based on my response time. If I if I leave you on red for three days, see, but that that's so unfair to you. That's so unfair to you. Why? You actually like someone back, and she goes, "You're a creep." Yeah. She goes, "Maybe slow down." She said, "Maybe slow yeah. down." I'd say maybe not be shallow. Oh, shallow. That's not the song. That's not the song. Okay, speaking of Olivia, I don't know what just made me think about this. You love her. Oh, oh that's true. And but, you miss her a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I did. I'm but taking her was, place in the bed. But you did. You stayed the night one night. You, yeah, we I, didn't sleep in the same bed, Yes, though. we did. No, we didn't. Don't I, lie. I, I don't crawl, lie. I crawled, America, in I crawled in there at 343. I crawled in there at 343. At 343, I was dead asleep, so you, you might have. You smell like Fritos under the covers. That would be Ruby. And you. Nope. Keep I smell like graciousness. <laughs> okay, so Olivia calls me. This is uh, two days before she leaves for her trip. Now my tip I is told wet. You, I told you not to drink that. Bro, uneat your shorts. They are so short. You pull them out. Like, I'm seeing the white part of your thigh. <laughs> Oh, 
Anyway. It's because my panties are too tight. Yeah, you need new panties. You need to go get that 7 for 12. <laughs> You're such a creep. Go. So, Olivia, stop being a freak bag then. <laughs> oh, it's just me? <laughs> Olivia calls me, right? It was the day we came out here to uh, work. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And she was by herself doing her whatever. So she's in her own car. She calls me and she goes, babe, I can't do it. I, I have to. I'm like, what? The? I'm thinking she's talking about stopping to get gas, something. I can't make it. And I was like, what the hell are you talking about? She goes, I'm going to pee on myself. And I'm like, okay, she's being super dramatic. She's like, no, I'm literally going to have to piss myself and then we're going to have to go get a shot back. And I said, you sound like you're being serious. Yeah. This isn't funny. Yeah. There's no camera rolling. You're not peeing yourself. You're a 25-year-old woman. She goes, babe, you don't understand. It's hurting so bad. I have no choice but to pee. We, we were literally probably a mile away from a gas station. I said, Olivia, if you can't hold your bladder for one more mile, then I, I, we might, we might have to, we might have to, we might have to just second get, we might have to, to get drop it. some papers. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure something out because this, this can't happen. She goes, if I don't make this light, I'm pissing myself. She was dead ass. This is on Facetime. Like I can read her face. She's yeah. not joking. She literally was about to pee herself. That's irresponsible. As hell. Yeah. And I was like, I, I literally, I was like, Liv, if you piss yourself, I'm not cleaning your car. I'm never getting in your car again. Matter of fact. Oh. I what? thought of a story, but I don't know if we could say it. Say it. The mason jar. Was insane. Olivia is notorious for having to piss in a car, apparently. Yeah. And we were going to a club. Yeah. At late hours of night after hanging out with friends and whatnot. And it was about a 30 minute drive. I had just bought mason jars from Walmart <laughs> to make overnight oats, you know, food, <laughs> edible <things>. nourishment, N <laughs> edible food in these jars. She has to pee so bad. I'm on an interstate going like 80. I'm not taking this. I'm not exiting. There is no exits. Whatever. We're just going. I'm like, babe, please hold your bladder. She goes, no, I have to do it right now. So it got to the point. She's basically like pulling my, like she's forcing my hand. Yeah. And I'm like, babe, we're five minutes away. Just hold it, please. She goes, you know what? Fine. Don't even pull over. It's fine. I'm going to use one of these. I go, one of what? <laughs> she literally rips open the package of mason jars in a car going 80 in the front seat and hits this. Audio listeners, I'm sorry. Just imagine what I'm doing. She He's goes. <laughs> I, was, I was I was utterly bamboozled like it was the strangest thing ever so I immediately called Peyton and she was like no 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 no, no. just don't just don't and I was like okay we get there park our cars I park right behind them and I go P come here look at this hold it he goes why the hell you got apple juice in a mason jar and I go <laughs> and he goes no she didn't she pissed in a mason And Liv though. literally looked at me like she was like proud. She was yeah, like, she was like, she had her hands up. Like she just won like a gold medal. She I'm was like, like, I had to go. She, my wife, I got, I love her. Y'all love her too, but she is, she is an interesting one for sure. Now we got to talk about the story. So I think it's weighing on my brain too much. And, and we were just speaking about, about cars. Cars. I had the worst 24 hours of my entire life. No, it was I'm actually not insane. Laugh. I'm not was, we, I laughed so much, but no, it was, this is unbelievable. So the whole team has been working hard. It was the middle of the week, and we were like, guys, let's all meet at Cam's house. It's 45 minutes away, and then we'll go to the casino. Celebrate the hard work we've done. Ding, 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 ding. Jackpot. So money, if, money, money. So if y'all don't know, I have a Tesla. You got to charge them things. I'm new to the Tesla world. I'm thinking that the mileage it shows is honest. Is accurate. Yeah. Like, don't show me something I can't use. So I had another two liter Diet Coke, right? So for some reason, I don't know, I don't have cups. Like I don't have like protein shake bottles to pour the drink into. So I take a full two liter Diet Coke into my car. I'm saying, I, I'm gonna sip on this for my road trip. 45 minutes to Cam's house. So I get into my car with my two liter. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna sip on this, head to Cam's house. The new Drake album just dropped, perfect. As soon as I leave my parking garage, I'm like, okay, I'm already a little thirsty. I untwisted. I don't know what on God's green earth happened to this. Somebody put dynamite in my Diet Coke. I open it up. It immediately explodes onto my face. I am blinded while I'm driving. My whole car smells of fountain drink. Like I was like, what? My outfit that I planned and ironed was ruined. I was pissed off already. I had to turn around shower because I was sticky, clean my car, then head to Cam's house. And he has white leather seats. So it's the worst possible outcome that can happen. I'm like, this started off shitty, but the day can turn around. I drive to Cam's house. <laughs> we get to Cam's house. The whole group is there, ready to go to the casino. Yep. And for some reason, 
I was feeling like Paul Revere. <laughs> I was feeling like I want to take the whole team in my car. Quarterback, QB1, just backpacking everybody. I right. love it. So I'm like, guys, I'll drive us to the casino. It's about 50 minutes away. I can make it. How many miles do you think that was? Away. I'd say around around 50, honestly, because yeah. it's a straight shot like highway. Yeah, about so, 50, 55 away. Yeah, it was about 50 miles away. My car read 116 miles hell empty and i was like if i'm doing the math right i can make it there and back with 16 to spare perfect we get in the car we're driving to the casino high energy high vibes life is good we get to the casino and i'm like the mileage dropped on this car a lot and i'm like it says 46 miles until empty and i'm like hold a month a month a minute we can't make it back like that. Sure can't. I'm like, this is a huge casino. I'm thinking they got some kind of electrical vehicle chargers Has to. around. We stop a cop on a bike. We're like, sir, excuse me. Where are the EV chargers at? And he goes, oh, we don't have any on the premises. But if you drive down the road right there, there's a hotel. They got some. And I say, gotcha. Thanks, Cop. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, guys, y'all go in first. Grab me a drink. I'm a drive charge for a little bit. Good man. Come back. Good man. I drive to this hotel. I'm like, based on the infrastructure of this hotel, it was built in 1980 and they haven't done one renovation. You have nothing that runs on electricity. Yeah. I was like, this is powered by coal. Like this, this does not have EV. So I go inside to the lovely hotel attendant i'm saying excuse me i was instructed by somebody at the casino on a that, bicycle on a bicycle that there is ev charging she looks at me and says what's ev and i go i've made a mistake <laughs> have a nice night Helgram. <laughs> and she and i go for a tesla charging and she goes oh we don't have that here but if you drive three miles the other way there's a little gas station and they have an EV charger. Mm. And I say, thank you so much for your duties, ma'am. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. Probably should renovate this establishment. <laughs> yeah. I don't think this is up to code, ma'am. <laughs> I drive three miles the other direction. I see an EV charger. I say, ooh, God is good all the time. I reverse into the EV charger, grab the little tunnel, grab the little plug-in to plug into my charger. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Shit's not going in. And I said, this isn't right. I hit Google. Why isn't it fitting? <laughs> Apparently, you got to get an adapter for those kind of chargers to fit into your Tesla. I don't have that piece. Makes zero sense. There's more Teslas than any EV. Hey, not, not, <laughs> I was going to say, not your problem. Quite literally your problem. <laughs> Quite literally, it was my problem. So I go inside. They have to sell them. I go inside of this gas station. Excuse me. Do you have the little adapter bit to go into my tesla because the ev charger ain't working they say we don't sell that here and i go your establishment should burn <laughs> <laughs> they have to sell them and now i'm looking at my speedometer it says 39 miles till empty i go this is real bad all right i'm like whatever i'm gonna go inside Drink me a beer, gamble a little bit. Maybe we'll figure something out. <laughs> maybe the grace of God. Maybe I park on a spot that has electrical field magnetic poles and it just soups my car up. I go inside. We're gambling a little bit. We're in there for hours. We in the night. We're up. It's good. We're like, okay, we've gotten a small win today. <laughs> Very minute win. Now. I prepped the group on the way back to the car as we're about to head home. I'm like, hey guys, we're gonna have to find the nearest Tesla supercharger to make it home. Cause we can't make it all the way back with the charging we have. Fine by us, you drove, you did a good deed, we're here for the ride. The closest charger was 35 miles away and he had 36 miles on the car. And I was like, if we push it, <laughs> We can make it. If this is accurate, we will have one mile to spare. This is fine. Now we get to drive and <laughs> commence the road trip. You know when you're so nervous driving that you put two hands on the wheel and your posture is that of a church boy? I was in there so locked in, the car was silent, right? Cam and our friend in the back, 
We're having fun conversations. There was not one glimpse of happiness that was in my body because how nervous <laughs> was I like, was. <laughs> Then Cam, then Cam realizes we have a problem when he starts to look at the speedometer. So we're driving, right? And I don't know if you understand how speed and mileage works, but <laughs> if you're going around 80, you know, miles can add up pretty quick. You'll get there less than a minute because, you know, 80, 60, hour, whatever. So I'm looking at this speedometer and it literally is going 35. 34 at that pace i said oh this is it feels good. like it's dropping by I the said, second hey, Pete, uh that's not good like that's we're gonna run out and i hope you have a backup plan and he looks at it and he goes oh oh god oh dear god and it, it is like legit dwindling it's it like 35 like 34 32 31 and i'm like we're not we're not going 120 like yeah. it's, it's not happening so then the inevitable happens <laughs> The car starts to turn on every light. It's blinking. It's yelling at me. Elon comes to the screen. like, hey, y'all are going to die. <laughs> the car starts to shut down. We have to pull over on the side of the highway. Highway of cars and 18-wheelers going 90 miles per hour. And we're in the middle of nowhere. There's not a street light in sight. We are stuck and stranded in the woods on the side of the highway. Pitch black. Pitch black. We get out of the car. We call roadside assistance. We need a tow. They go, okay, we'll send one to your location in 60 minutes. And I go, it is 1 a.m. We are going to die. We're sitting out there waiting, trying to make the most of the situation. But out of the woods behind us, oh my God, we hear crinkle crackle. And we're like, either there's a beast or Freddy Krueger. <laughs> We turn around, and there's a man in a jumpsuit that comes, I kid you not, a man in a jumpsuit comes out of the woods walking like he just won a UFC Bellator belt. <laughs> he, he literally was hitting the McGregor walk. Like, what? Where, where did you come from? Where are you going, you and where did you come did from? Did you just spawn? And I always think, it's like, I know why I'm here on the side of a highway at 1 a.m. My car died. What the hell are you doing? Like, what is your itinerary right yeah. now? What are you going to? Where'd you come from? What the hell is going? He literally just spawns and was like. And the scary part is he didn't even acknowledge us. Didn't, didn't look didn't at us. Word. Didn't care about us. Was just on a mission to go do probably something illegal and vicious. Didn't offer help. Didn't ask. Didn't care. Kind of respected. He just yeah. minded his own business. But what are you doing? <laughs> like, what are you doing? So then, boom, an hour passes tow truck comes we're like oh thank god we call an uber the uber lady's lost for another 30 minutes that's a story by itself they take the car to the nearest supercharger i'm like hey just take me and my friends home the uber takes us home we sleep the night away we're like cam's gonna take me to the supercharger in the morning we'll just plug it in we'll be good all is well we get four hours of sleep. Cam wakes me up the next morning. We head to the car in the supercharger. I'm like, oh, they backed it into the spot perfectly. Just got to plug in. Grab the supercharger. What the hell's going on? It's not plugging in. That means you can't charge a car if there's not a little battery left. You can't even charge a fully dead Tesla. I'm like, what is happening? It is 8 a.m. Well, call roadside again. Hey, can't charge the Tesla that you towed yesterday. They go, you got to get somebody to jumpstart it. You go, that's interesting. That's why I'm calling you. You're going to come jumpstart my car right now. They say, we'll have somebody out there in 60 minutes. And I go, like, is, is that their just like their promised time? Yeah. Hey, you could be... At in inevitable danger yeah. we'll get to you in an hour like then cam sees that i am physically distraught i am in a horrible mood i'm down four hundred dollars from the tow truck i'm about to have to spend more money on the jump starts cam sees there's an academy right across the street he goes Peyton, let's just go to the academy have fun two dudes in academy just killing time so we get there i'm throwing a little junior size football i'm like hey look at those firearms those are cool can't touch it <laughs> Just trying to boost his mood up. There's not know? a smile on my face. He's working hard. So he's looking down, you know, just thump, just spamming fingers, texting all these people, right? 
and I finally crack a joke that resonates with him. He looks up and giggles. There is blood rushing out of his mouth. And I literally screamed in the academy and ran away from him. There was so much blood. It was like that type of blood. You know how if you floss and you just like like kill your gums and it's just like seeping through the teeth? He was like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, said, bro, you're bleeding. I said, your mouth is bleeding. He said, really? It's bleeding? And I was like, oh my God. I ran away, scared the shit out of this little small family of four and I was crying laughing. <laughs> Turns out when Bubba gets anxious and pissed off chews on the inside of his lip like a savage you little cannibal like just calm down this man was bleeding from his mouth i had to go to the bathroom wash my mouth out there i was literally spitting like i just got out of a like a boxing match like, like a I was surgery like, so much blood was in my mouth but then boom i get a call from roadside assistance hey your jump start people are there make your way back to the tesla oh. i say okay i make my way back to the tesla Jim and Dean are out there trying to fix my Tesla. They're Googling YouTube videos. How do you jumpstart an electric vehicle? They finally figure it out. Boom, plug the Tesla in. It's time to go. I'm like, thank God my nightmare is over. We have a meeting to go to, me and Cam. We I'm do. Like, Cam, On four hours of sleep, mind you. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, follow me to the meeting. I know exactly where it's at, Cam. Thank God our hell trip is over. I kid you not. Four minutes into my drive to the meeting. Well, my whole, I thought I got shot. Like, I'm like, what the hell is going on? I look up, my windshield is shattered. A rock smacks the shit out of my Tesla. I kid you not, you've been stoned. Every intrusive negative thought that has ever gone through my skull was this close to happening. I have never been so mad. I swear to God, I'm driving like this. Son of a bitch, you mother. I am so pissed off. And that was the worst day I've ever had. Oh. So sorry if I'm not in the best oh, mood oh, today. Oh no. And on that trip, <laughs> we witnessed GTA in real life <laughs> after your windshield got shattered. Oh my through. God. <laughs> he was in the middle of a, of a chase, like of a, of a crime. Oh my God. So his shit gets cracked. He literally calls me. I'm like two cars behind him, following him. He's like, you want to fucking believe? <laughs> And I was like, I was like, what? You were like, I am done. <laughs> he goes, my shit is shattered. And I was like, what? And he said, wham, went the stone. <laughs> shit is just shattered. And I go, yo, yo, wait. Oh, whoa. I swear to God, these two, it was like a Corolla oh, yeah. and like a Ford Focus. They are swerving through. This car is trying to catch this car for whatever reason. We don't know. Yeah. But this car, the front one, the red one, goes in front of Peyton. This one has to get behind Peyton. This one's trying to accelerate. This one's trying to get through Peyton. Peyton was like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I was literally like, what the hell is going on? Like, what the hell? The back car swerves back, comes up to Peyton. Quickly, he's like, sorry, so sorry. Like, it, the window's down, his hand's he out. Literally he's literally like, fully extends. He was like, he's like, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. But then he goes, swerves up, and he's like, <laughs> and just like screaming at the red car. He's like and fake he was hitting fake him. fake hitting him, bro. It was... Oh my God, it was, in, it, imagine all of that on like four hours of sleep mixed with every single thing that happened. Oh my God, dude. It, it was, was the worst time ever. It was so funny. It was the worst time ever. It sucked ass for you, I'm so sorry. Yeah. All right, yeah, that was that was unbelievable. Oh my God. That's, all right, give me I, something to get my mind off this, Cam. Okay, uh, ooh, I saw, I saw this. I saw this on uh, Twitter and yeah. I was wondering, I wanna ask you, what is the last movie that you've cried to? Oh shit. I don't know. Oh, actually, I cried at first person shooter recently. A video game? What are you talking about? No, first the J shoot no, the J. Cole and Drake song they just dropped, I swear to God. <laughs> you cried to a song? A rap song? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I don't know what came over me because I, I like this song, but not that much. 
<laughs> I'm so done with you. Yeah, it was a what? What part could solicit tears it, from that song? It wasn't even the first time I listened to it too. It was like the third play, and I was like, "This is really good." And you <laughs> shed a tear. Yeah, it was. It was like when Cole like really started going, and I was like, I was really like this. I was like, I got goosebumps, and I was like. And it was not like I was boo-hooing, but something came out. You need to be analyzed. Like someone that I've never heard. I've never, I could, yeah. I've never cried at a rap song. Yeah, me neither. I've never cried at a song. Oh, I have. Oh, no, no, I take that back. Yeah. When I hear the song Live Walk Down the Aisle to, it always gets me emotional. Yeah. But there's a reason. You're crying to J. Cole on his mogul rap, talking about yeah. I'm the best. Yeah. And it, he cried. It's like, and then Drake was like, I pack him in like sardines. And I was like, yeah, he did. Claudine, OG. Pauline, Charlene. Yeah. And it, it, it got an emotion. It elicited a tear. It was strange times. I can't even ask you just like regular bar questions. Like, well, that's not a bar. That'd be a it's horrible a bar horrible. conversation. But I can't yeah. ask you just regular talk. Are you dead? Cause there's a gnat that's been circling you for about 45 minutes. No, cause we're infested here at You Should Know Studio. <gasps> oh, oh, I have a question for you. And we haven't done one of these in a while. Okay. I, I had to get off that cause it's embarrassing. Like saying it out loud, that is embarrassing. That's sad as- Yeah. You're- oh God, hey, I'm sorry. I just wanted to bite my fingers. Sorry, you're Drake a grown and J. Cole. Man. Well, I'm an emotional boy. <laughs> How do you- I don't- I just can't- Well, you're a- you literally have no emotion in your- in your that's body. That's not true. That's yeah. not true. All right, I have a would you rather- we haven't done one of these in a while. We do would you rathers a lot, but not like animal ones. And oh, I, God. I've been watching a lot of Animal Planet. You all- yeah, you- you need to- you have a weird obsession with animal- like, of all the real shit you watch, like pop culture stuff, and- yeah. and like, uh- Housewives and real you watch Animal Planet a lot because it makes me competitive. It really gets on my competitive drive. Now I feel like you're gonna be really ignorant on this, and maybe you're smart. Maybe I'm not giving you enough credit. Yeah, but a lot of people are gonna be ignorant about this. Would you rather be bit by a black mamba or a leatherback sea turtle? Is that a serious question? Dead ass. Be honest. I would much, much, much <laughs> rather be bit by a leatherback sea turtle. Yeah. Oh, ignorant, ignorant, ignorant! A leatherback sea turtle? Okay. Go right. Google something in your life. Google a black mamba. Google, Google a black mamba. Google a black mamba. Google a black mamba. Hey, I'm about to tell you something. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to learn you something. It is a. I'm about to learn you something. A leatherback sea turtle grows over eight feet tall. Eight cool. feet tall. Cool. Can weigh over two hundred pounds and bite through bones. You want to go to sea? It can bite through boats. Imagine Dwight Howard okay. with teeth. <laughs> that's not. That's this. Okay, my turn for Black Mamba. It bites you. Life, bye bye. You are in paralysis. Okay. Within ten minutes. How big? How big? How bigger? How bigger? How bigger? Black Mamas. How bigger Black Mamas? Is that eight feet? What the hell? We're getting bit by it. We're not having to strangle it. I don't it. think you understand how big eight feet is. That doesn't matter. It's the watch bite. This, you said, this. do you want to get bit? What are you doing? I get your... How tall am I? Six, seven. That's... that's now okay. imagine two more feet on that. Okay. Big and ass I can turtle. bite through your goddamn boat. Would you rather have a piece of your arm missing or die? That's what you should have asked me. No. Would you rather lose an arm or lose your life? You can outrun a black mamba. Lose your leg or lose your soul. That's what you're asking All me. All right. Say we're in this room right now. Lose your knee or lose your existence. Say we're in this room right now. No, you, no, no, shut no, up. No, shut no. up. You just said you can outrun a black mamba. You're not running. You said, would you rather be bit by it? B black you mamas can't run. You didn't say have to survive it. Black mamas don't kill. You, the question was, would you rather be bit? Exactly. You can die. By a black mamba. Oh, no, by a leatherback sea turtle. If it snaps your neck. Hey, I don't know who you think you are, strong man. You're not as strong as a boat, dog. You know what is your question? I have a theory that it wasn't an iceberg that took down the Titanic. Oh, it was a le it was a it gang was, of le leatherbacks going mine. It was a hunting ground of leatherbacks. Have you been on a cruise? Yes. Uh, now imagine how big that is. Yes. And a leatherback sea turtle can take down your circus cruise. No, it can't. Yeah, you like the buffet on the poop deck? It can't. Go on. It, do you like anything in life? Not really. <laughs> Breathing, living, eating, farting, anything. Chains. Do you like anything? Yes. Don't pick Black Mamba. Okay, now imagine. Now imagine. I'm, oh my gosh, Shut for someone up. that watches Animal Planet, you are a stupid idiot. Well, imagine, oh right? Oh my god. Say you're in a room, right? Say you're in your bathroom. Say you're in your bathroom. What is up with this? You close the door and you lock it, right? <laughs> you close the door and you lock it, you don't have the key. Can't get out. The plumbing is not sufficient. You can't turn on the water if you wanted to. Get to it! <laughs> 
You're trapped in a bathroom. <laughs> Would you rather be trapped in a bathroom with a leatherback sea turtle or a black mamba? Answer. A leather back you're fucking dumb. see you are first off dumb. you've asked seven questions <laughs> the original question was bit by so i'm assuming we just we're taking a bite if it's anything to the neck head you both you die either way but let's just say it's our leg you will not get that leg back would you exactly do you want to lose your leg or lose your soul you're not gonna die what do you think you make from a life? black mom okay if there's Im immediate medical services there okay i i might take the black mamba I'll, uh, you'll be poisoned as shit. You'll go into paralysis. You but won't. if you're, are you? What is your name? <laughs> Give me your government name right now. Peyton. What is your name? It's not Bear Grylls. Okay, you're not a survivalist expert. You sit. From I watch Dallas. more Animal Planet you than you. You sit naked and sweaty and watch That's Animal personal. Planet. <laughs> naked and sweaty, watching Animal Planet from the comfort of your couch. You're not out there with the shits. A black, it is a black, no basketball player said, ooh, my nickname's the Leatherback Sea Turtle. It's a black mamba. Popularity doesn't mean strength. Oh my God. Popularity I, does not I mean am, strength. My skin is crawling. Okay, okay, say you're laying down, right, and you're tied up, right? Would you rather get attacked what? by a Leatherback Sea Turtle or would you rather get attacked by a black mamba? You answer, who, who, that motherfucker would shoot through your intestines, who, dog. Who bound my hands? Me. What, what are these scenarios? Me. Bro. No. Oh no, don't go to Google, don't run to it. A black mamba, if it bites you, can cause bulbar symptoms, parthesia, fasolutions, axia, loss it. of consciousness, paralysis, yes. pain, nausea, cough, profuse sweating, poisoned blood, right. everything. Right there, right here. That's what, paralysis. This is where reading comprehension comes in. Listen, did you hear the first thing he said? It can, not it will. Oh, no, no, I just said that. It says symptoms include, as in they are guaranteed coming with the product. It is going to happen. I said it can. Earth said it will happen. Okay. You know what will happen? Lose your leg. Lose your leg, lose your life. You're going to die if you lose your leg. If you get bit by your, and it takes your legs, <clears throat> that's my leg. I got legs now. What do you think is gonna happen? You just get a tourniquet automatically? You're That's what I'm done, saying. Dog. Are we? You're with... done, dog. No, you're done either uh, way. You're in your bathroom. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> you're in the bathroom, dog. <laughs> if we were in the bathroom, I'd survive losing a leg. I would take that towel and wrap that bitch. I'd MacGyver the hell out of you my leg. You are so stupid. You have to try. You're overly confident in yourself. You have to try. You're overly confident. You have to be overly confident in life or death situations. I'm better. Fight or flight. You honestly, dead ass. I oh, don't you? No, no, no. Listen, no, I'm dead ass, and I was thinking this whenever we were stranded. I'm better at survival than anybody in our friend group. Like in dire situations, I'm the band to go to. No, you are not. Yes, I am. What? You're good. You're good I'm at that. I'm great. You're good at that. You're very good at that. I, I came up with like six ideas on the spot to help us get out. Right? Everybody else is, ah, I'm in a panic, panic. It's because we can't, and we couldn't really help you. I didn't need help. Exactly. But we couldn't talk to, it was your phone. You had to call Tesla Roadside, so we just had to sit there. If we were stranded in like a damn forest, yeah, you and me would be team captains. And, and then, we, would, we would divide and, and, and conquer. And, 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 and whenever we were at the movie theater and we thought Bang Bang was happening and they cleared us out. What did you do special there? I was like, I was giving us an escape plan. I was like, we're going to go through here. Don't, I was like, hug this car. Go out here. Don't pop up in the middle over there. Dead ass. I'm good at survival. Right, That's John the Wick. I'm not good at a lot. But English and survival. <laughs> English podcast survival. That's your. That's a hell of a resume. That is a hell of a resume. I'm not good at bathing though. You're not. Or smelling good. Eat. I actually do smell good right now. Sweating. Can't control it. Being alone. I'm good at being alone. I'll give you that. All right. That's enough making fun of me. I'm tired of my confidence is so low. My car is shattered. Um. I think we can we can brighten up the mood. Ooh, how can we do that? It was highly requested by the Ushino family. Oh, was it? The best love doctor has made a appearance back. He's returned for a second consecutive week. And that's none other than... <laughs> Dr. P, 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 Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. <laughs> you gotta stop that little one at the end. I hate that shit. Dr. P, the best love doctor in the world, is here love to Love doctor. Make love doctor. Love you, doctor. Love you too. Love doctor. All right. Dr. P. Dr. P. <laughs> so. Love. 
Oh, you remember that one last week? I have a follow up. Sex. Remember that one that said um, we told them to tell the girlfriend to call the, the oh friend? Oh my god! Oh my god! He did it. Oh my god! He DM'd me and said, uh, "I I told her I I I did what y'all told me to do. I told her to call the friend. She got mad at me, but she ended up doing it." find that come to find out they've been doing stuff with each other for a while now he broke up with her shout out to him for leaving the best love doctor in the world <laughs> dr p dr p dr p dr p dr p <laughs> hey ma- give give him some applause right now he just saved a man from torture anguish agony now this comes from a lovely woman Ooh, oh time out do we need a precursor? Do we need a, we need a, it's always different coming. You read it. You ready, boss? Yeah, I'm ready. You, I love my job, Saya. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Secretary Kim. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to go to the Bahamas. Dear Dr. P. Hello. So I have been with my boyfriend for a couple of months now, and he goes to see his mom and brother, but there's this one girl over there. Oh, there's always that one girl. Wait, at the house? There's this one girl over there that's okay. always getting a little too comfortable with him. And when his mom introduced me to her, she got visibly upset and left and i don't know what to do because he's always going up there and spends all his time with her not even his mom and when i bring it up to him he tries to discard it and tell me i'm overreacting this is what i have to say about that it's so good how my instinctual doctor skills come in because you're the greatest love doctor in the nation. I am the greatest love doctor in the nation. Some may even say world. We, we need to get the greatest love doctor in the world, the, the greatest mic stand in the world. <laughs> so, this is what I'm thinking is happening. It's what I know is happening. Okay, give me the rundown. Give us the rundown. Save another one. This man's in two relations. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. You are in a trifecta of love. <laughs> right. Hell of a diagnosis. He loves that girl. <laughs> Oh, no, yeah. If he's going up there and covering up his mom. I'm just a saying. The mom knows her. You've done 24 years of studying and yes. physical research yes. in the field, yes. so I'm going to let you continue. Yeah. If the, the mom is involved, that's not just a little... Buddy. No, that is... Some, that, that, that's, that's a fair love. Point. That is love. That the is, mom... Oh, mm. my God. And he always goes up there, and you, you know it. You know the answer. You know that they love each other. What you need to do is go. Just go. I wouldn't ask any questions. <laughs> You've only been together for a couple of months. Y'all are friends. Facts. Y'all are friends at that point. You might be like, oh my God, I like him so much. Don't go further into the relationship. Don't. Make a stronger connection. And then you're still sharing boyfriends. Get out of the pool. Don't throw the buoy. Don't throw the lifeline. Don't try to salvage it. Get out of the body water. It's you, a weird thing. You know, Dr. P had sense. a similar situation with this in his, in his life. I had a girlfriend in high school. And God, Dr. We went, never gets personal. We went through this problem, right? Uh-huh. Where she would always call me somebody else's name. Oh, no. Okay, that's just sick. Like, she would be like, oh, Brady. I'd be like, huh? <laughs> what the f- is that? Who's Brady? I don't have a single B in any of my names. Yeah, and then she'd be like, I'm so sorry. You just, I, I, I don't mean it. Make my brain. I'd be like, fuck your brain. <laughs> Who's Brady? You're Brady. Yeah. Wow. Brady sucks. That sounds like. She definitely picked the wrong guy. Yeah. That's the, come on. Brady. Brady. If your name it was is her Brady, ex. I love it. was you, her ex. That's tough, dog. Yeah. Is that, is that what made you join the profession? Yes. It is? Heartbreak and agony. Then I got into another relationship while I was in a relationship with her. <sighs> I was doing what your boyfriend's doing. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. They come to you for advice and love. It's don't, not pain. It's rub, Dr. P. Don't rub it. It's in. Dr. P. I'm see, I'm an honest man. That is tr- honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. That's, true. That's why you should walk up to him, slap him. No. Le- oh. Dr. P does not. That, you're going to get fired. Secretary, I love my job, Sire. Great benefits, Lord. You don't get benefits. Uh, well, that's right. I don't. There's not. But you're a third party insurance. Yeah, it's expensive. Too. <laughs> it's so expensive. <laughs> my God. Yeah, no. Yeah, he, don't touch him. Don't no, fi- no, don't physically touch him. Don't you dare do that. But just leave, like you said. Just listen to the doctor. But just get the hell out. Also, Doctor P's a little toxic. Mm. But in this new day age of medicine, I feel toxicity is needed in some in some recipes. You you want to know what Doctor P toxic side saying? Let's hear it. Don't tell your boyfriend, y'all's boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell y'all's boyfriend. But you know what you do? You get you get that girl alone. You and the girl, and you go, hey, me and so and so. Me and him had a conversation. And he's telling me how close y'all are. 
And he said he feels like there's something that, that y'all have talked and y'all have a something special. And honestly, watching y'all together, I feel like that happiness is more than ours. And if she gets excited and if she gets like, I've been telling him that, then you know. Mm. That's how you, that, that's I mean, nice. You're leaving regardless. You, you like, you like the Hansel and Gretel approach. I've never seen that movie. It's, uh, well, okay. You Your like, mic stand is as crooked as my spine. Yeah, you, <laughs> it always just sleeps. You like the mousetrap approach. Yeah. I, I like that too, though, because it's, it's just, it makes them eat their own words. That's the biggest fly I've ever <laughs> that's seen. That's Ruby. That is, yeah, with that wings. That was a dragon. Like, that was a small dragon. But you like making them choke on their own actions. Yes. It's a weird sentence as well. It's so strange. That's why you're the secretary. That's exactly why I'm the secretary. Couldn't make it through medical school. And that was Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P. <laughs> but now it's time for people's favorite segment. You know what that is? Pop culture, pay in the camp. Pop culture, pay in the camp. Bow! Yeah, no, that that's crazy. Being in two relationships at the same time, you do, she belongs, or not she, he belongs under, under the, the prison. prison. Yeah, 100%. Under, under the, the prison. prison. But for pop culture, I'm going to kick it off because I'm going to steal yours and we're both unbelievably excited about it. Uh, Logan Paul, Dylan Dennis is... Th- it already happened. For them. Oh, shit, it did. Yeah. We can give our predictions, see if we're right. Yeah, it did already happen. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, so he wants Logan to win. Duh. I want Dylan to win. Don't know why. And it's no. He likes guys that are no, mean to women. No, no, I was just about to say. He likes not, guys that are mean to women. No, not at all. I just, I'm not a fan of Logan Paul. Like, he, watching him grow and grow and grow, he just became more corrupt and... Fantastic businessman, 100%. There's no doubt about that. I just don't really like him. Like, I think maturing is liking Jake more than Logan. Because for years, it's like Logan was the nice one. Jake is just like the guy that doesn't give a shit. But now it's like, you know. Uh, I don't know none of them. I don't either. But just <laughs> watching them from a distance. Um, Yeah, I, I kind of, I'm going for the underdog. Because I think Logan's going to win. Like, I think that's inevitable. Of course. I think Logan 100% wins the fight. But I want Dylan to. I want the underdog to win. And then in the co-main, I want Tommy to win. And Tommy will win. Actually, you know the co-main is Logan and Dylan? Is it really? Oh, yeah, it's Which is so card. stupid. It's KSI It's a prime card. No. But I think, I don't know. That's dumb. No one really cares about that fight. Yeah. But yeah, uh, KSI is going to get pieced up. So we both <laughs> want Tommy to win, but then uh, the main, or I guess, hell, the co-main, we're going to be cheering or going against each other. You're going so. against each other. You want to put money good, on it? It's always good, though. <laughs> no. Well, that's not fun. Yeah. Well, we can just watch and give each other friendly banter. Shit yeah. chat. What else is happening? Oh, UFC. Oh my, oh my God! Next Saturday, the tw- what would that be? Tw- I don't know. Twenty, don't know. Like the twenty first, twenty seconds. I don't know some shit, but twenty fourth. I don't care. But that day, that fight, it's in Abu Dhabi. Basically, two people just dropped out, and Dana, Dana was in that thing just cooking. Grease, wrist, foot in the pot. Just every, he, that boy was cooking. Alexander Volkanovski stepped up, took the fight. Kamara Usman stepped up, took the fight, both on 10-day notices. <coughs> it's just, I mean, it's music to our ears. It's unbelievable. I cannot wait for that. It's going to be amazing. Like, that, yeah. is, that is two powerhouse fights. Oh, my God. So, y'all can put y'all's predictions in the description or in the comments below since that hasn't happened. Right. I don't really care about the rest of the card, but those two main ones. But that was Pop Culture, Pay and Cam. Pop Culture, Pay and Cam. Wow. All right, get us out of here, Cam. Guys, this was episode 82. We absolutely love y'all. We are so, so, so close. We can almost taste it. We can almost taste it, grab like, it, like touch a leatherback it, snapping it. turtle. We are right, like a black mamba will kill you. Um, we are so close to being in Gramercy Theater, October 28th, New York City, New York. I was just doing a dance. <laughs> oh, I was. I thought you were like Gramercy Theater. Gramercy Theater, October 28th, New York City, New York. We are very, very, very close to it. Less than two weeks out when y'all see this. But thank you for coming back. Episode 82. After party is going to be announced soon. We're working on it. After party is going to be announced very soon. We are working on it. It's getting very close to being finalized. But we love y'all. This week, good car. I don't know why this stuck with me so much. It resonated with me. And it never happened to me. But I'm going to say this week's code is UIP. UIP? Under the prison. 
Oh, that's UTP. Oh my God, I said under in prison. Oh my God, UTP under, under the, the prison. prison. That's just a sick scenario. He doesn't deserve much happiness, but that's a very that's rude a thing rough to say. Thing. That's why you're the secretary. I, I take that back. That's why I'm the secretary. Don't mind me. He doesn't. I don't. That's just sick. sick. I don't like seeing. He's people in two do relationships. That. He's in two relationships. That's not. You a good deserve guy. better, Queen. You do, Queen. Leave him. Go get better. So this week's get your good karma. Leave it on Instagram posts. Leave it on TikTok. Leave it on here. Leave it in Discord. Everywhere and anywhere. You. TP. God damn. Confuse the casuals. Get your good karma. We absolutely love y'all. Koala Club, keep watching out for Patreon. Uh, coming out, multiple things coming out this up this upcoming week for y'all. We love all the Koala Club members. And remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. And we'll see you. Hello? Next. There's so many bugs in here. That's a Next big fly. Time. That's a big fly on my knee. Kill it. See if you can get it. Oh. Bye.